Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. Going to do it slightly different today. We'll go a bit of freestyle. So let's see what we have for the sign of Gemini. What do you have for the sign of Gemini, please? Ooh, stressing. Nine of Swords. There's been some fighting. Somebody has walked away. No contact now. This is kind of the aftermath of the arguments. It was kind of an argument, win at all costs, but now there's going to be some uncertainty, if not now in the near future. When he, somebody here is going to regret the action, regret the fighting, if not already. So let's see where this goes. More please. The sign of Gemini. Mm. Oh, better, better, better. Love it. Star card. Healing. New hope. New opportunity. You know, you're learning to forgive yourself. That's great. Bringing in much more balance. Doing a bit of wishing, though. I've said it many times. Kind of like a catchphrase with me now. Be careful what you wish for. The universe has a knack of giving you what you want, but not necessarily in the form that you think you're going to get it. If you can follow that. Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. A safe balance. Being reserved. Keeping your cool. This could be the person you're dealing with. They could well believe they could work out the differences with you. Let's see where this is heading. Let's get some more information. Oh, yes. <coughs> Green of Pentacles. Mm, an opportunity here. Seeing to the day to daily grind. Planning. Planning for your future. You could well be in a situation now where you're, you've got a lot of support. You could have a new person in your life. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. But you just want stability. There is reminiscence from the past. You've got the reconciliation card here. But I'm getting the strongest energy I'm getting with this is not only the chance to reconcile with him, but to reconcile with yourself. Forgiving yourself. Always in situations like this after major fighting. There's afterthoughts of, you know, mm. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. You know, forgiving yourself is not the easiest thing to do. Forgiving them is a lot easier, believe it or not. So another card. Yeah, I've shuffled and it's come out again. There's a different air of being at peace now. You know, keeping your cool. Getting stability with yourself. You're seeing the situation and you're viewing the world much differently. You've detached. There is still some thoughts there. Sleepless nights and worrying, but you get in there. These are very positive cards. Yeah, communication from the past. At the very, very least, getting some answers to these questions you're acting, you're asking yourself. Well, fresh start, possibly a soulmate. But 
I must emphasize, oh, sorry, you're being divinely guided. And as I say, I must emphasize, you know, at the end of the day, the choice is yours. But that's Aquarius energy, that star card. The chance of a favorable outcome with this person is good. It will bring in stability. It will bring in balance, not only between you two, but if you want, it will allow you to move on. So it's not compulsory to stay with this person. This reconciliation card, it can be for one week, one month. It's not necessarily a license to ride off into the sunset. And as I say, the most powerful energy is reconciling with yourself. By the way, you're going in the right direction. You know, closing off the emotions. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy now here. There's a lot of, there's some water energy. Bringing love into the situation. And also tempering your own emotions. Learning to live with your own emotions. Yeah. And all this hard work will pay off, you know, the fruits of your labours. You'll start to feel at loss, a lot more contented with your lot as time goes on. The stability here and perhaps a new communication, communication and a new person, much more stable. You're happy to put the effort in with this person because I'm getting a certain kind of dependability with this person, stability. There it is. Success, taking the leadership role. You know, it's kind of putting you in the saddle of that horse. definitely getting your stability if you can you will make a lot of progress if you can keep your heart and your head in balance you do feel as if you're a bit trapped at the moment though this is what's causing this stress but you know you are coming out of this i feel you're purposely disconnected with this person to give yourself time to think how you truly feel was it lust was it just sex was it love you know all this sort of thing mm. yeah you've got nine of swords there and you've got that other sword in your hand you're coming into realization you're facing facts now that what's happened has happened you're reconciling with yourself in some cases this person will want to come back they're coming back slowly but you're in no rush that's for sure you're healing i'm getting for some of you you feel like they've done you a favor And giving you what you want inadvertently. You're stressing because of the shock of it. Because it happened quite suddenly I feel. But there's, you know. There's, there could be an unexpected message for some of you. From this person. Yeah. You made a good judgmental decision on this. Like I say, you could have been the one that walked away. And you know it's it's all about healing, new hope, and a fresh new you coming into the showing the world the real you. With the justice card, you feel you've made the right decision. Just get to air a little bit on the side of caution. Just be aware that for every decision decision we make there is consequences but you've given up something for the greater good here and I feel in this case it was the right decision 
you walked away, see? Disconnected. Three of Pentacles. Yep. Being analytical, you know, seeing where you can go from here, being very, very practical and making some very good sound decisions. Very strong air energy here. Of course, you're an air sign. Sound judgment. You're going off in another direction. It's kind of the universe is, is pushing you in a certain direction. What you can be sure of is you're going in the right direction for you. You've made a right choice here. Things are going to work out in your favour. Yep. You've got the star card and now you've got the wish card here. Bit of self-indulgence, nothing wrong with that. The only thing with some of you is, as I say, take this out, it resonates with this energy and this energy. While you're going through this, be careful of, you know, getting addicted to food, drink maybe, a little bit excessive. There's nothing wrong with a bit of self-indulgence, just be careful it doesn't overtake you. It could be the person you're dealing with was like this. You know, a little bit too much drink, a little bit too much food or whatever. Addiction of some kind. That's that's for a few of you. As I say, this is a general read. Take it out, it resonates. Mm. There is a cool reconciliation here. As I say, more of a reconciliation with yourself. Ten of Pentacles. It's it's all coming to you. This is kind of a, an, a reward of some kind for all your efforts. And for a fair view, yes, you will reconcile with this person. And I'm kind of, yeah, moving in with them. Making it work. We're in the past where it was the right couple, wrong time. Now it's the right couple, right time, especially with that destiny card. Yes, of course it will produce its challenges. But, you know, you're standing your ground. You're putting up those boundaries. You're not going to repeat the experiences of the past. Either way. Yeah. Major, de major decision here. New offer. You can walk through that gate anytime you want. There's no law saying you have to accept this. You know, it's it's an emotional decision. And of course, it'll have challenges. Let your intuition guide you with that crescent moon there. As I say, I'm sure you're fully aware that any decision you make will have consequences. But as I said, I repeat... I feel this, the consequences will be for the greater good in this. It's bring conclusions. You know, you were kind of kept in a repetitive cycle here, waiting, waiting, waiting. There was a lot of indecision here. There was a few mind games. Somebody here was being very possessive. You know, there was a lot of resentment on picking up. And if for a few of you, you know, somebody was overindulging here with an addiction, yes, it's not surprising. You you showed a lot of patience with this person in the past and you put a lot of help and support in. Yeah. Walking away from the negativity. There was some deceit here. 
And there was also a lot of pain. You know, as I say, there was a lot of temptation there. And there is a lot of temptation to get reinvolved. But you're walking away from, you're breaking free of the negativity of this. You know, just be careful of distractions. Let's, let's get one moonlight, moonology card on this. Yep. Yeah. Confidence is the key. It's Leo energy. You know, the end of a tough cycle approaches. You're breaking free of this. As I say, as a general read, take it out, resonates. But whatever your situation, you're coming out of it. You're breaking free of it. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.